Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. So welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to filter data in Excel, how to use the number filter greater than or equal to, and how to use the number filter less than. Okay, so I'm using a spreadsheet called Kitchen Sales for today's lesson. Now, before we go and see the question of the day, I want to introduce the filter, filtering data option in Excel and demonstrate some basic filtering that you can do. So, on this spreadsheet, as you can see, um, we're selling a lot of kitchen items. Um, the unit prices and some sales made over three months January February and March so quickly show you you can see there's quite a bit of data now we'll be filtering out some relevant data that we need now in Excel you can imagine you can have rows and rows of information literally hundreds and thousands of rows containing a lot of information now if you wanted to filter out certain items you can do so using this filter option now before i say any more let's go ahead and activate this option now so long you have some headings in some information in excel such as this and you click your cursor or your mouse within anywhere of this range you can activate these filter option and it will automatically be applied to the heading of your information or to the headings of your information um, please do make sure you're not clicked anywhere out of the range otherwise it will not work so you can click on the headings if you want or you can click anywhere like i said within this range i'm just going to click somewhere down here just to show you that it does work once you have done that you're on the ribbon you go to the home tab and you come across to this group here called the editing group and then just directly above you click on sort and filter once you have done that you come down and you will see a filter just up just down here you click on filter and you can see automatically excel has applied these little squares with a drop down arrow within it now this is how your filter option looks like okay so i'm just going to show you a couple of basic filtering options that i could do now so let's say i want to filter out only some of these items i can click on the arrow now on this list it has every single different item that i have in column a now what i can do is deselect all of them by clicking on this option at the moment you can see select all is tick so if i was to remove this tick from there it will deselect every single item from column a and let's say i only wanted to see the 300 300 300 and 300 just a pure simple example so four filtered items i i want to see if i click on ok what excel does it filters out everything else and just shows me the four items that i have selected now you can see on the left hand side the row numbers have turned blue now blue is the color that will indicate and it will tell you these are the rows that contained contains the information that i have asked excel to show me that's all the color blue just simply means there you can see every other row has been hidden remember them double lines from a previous lesson of how to hide rows so that's what the double line there means you don't need to really worry about any of that i'm just explaining for your understanding um, once you have applied a filter and you want to remove that filter before you do something else you simply go to this section here you can see next to the arrow now there's a funnel telling you that you have applied a filter on this column so i'm just going to click on there 
and clear the filter from this item. So all I do is click here and everything comes back. Okay, another example I'm just going to show you. Let's click on this item column, click on the arrow and let's say I'm going to deselect all of them again and this time let's say I just want a couple of the sync items just here at the bottom and if I click OK it will only show me those two rows that contain that information and another important point for you to remember is just here at the bottom once the filtering has been done it will always show you how many records of the total number of records it has found for you so in this example we have found a two of possible 23 original records that we were filtering from so that's a very good um, option or, or, or a little tip here for you to make a note of. So I'm going to remove now the filtering and clear this item and now I'm going to head over to today's question to see what the question of the day is. Okay so the question or the questions are apply a data filter to kitchen sales to find out which products have had more than or equal to 30 sales in January? Okay, very interesting question. The second part of the question is to filter the data to show information for all unit price that is less than 65. Okay, so let's tackle this question first. We need to apply a data filter to kitchen sales to find out which products have had more than or equal to 30 sales in January. So in January, more than or equal to 30 sales. Okay, let's go ahead. So the first important point is to um, understand where you are applying this filter. Now the question is asking for us to find out in January sales where we have made greater than, just take you back to the question again, greater than or more than or equal to 30. Okay, so we click on the drop down arrow or the filter button for under January sales. Now we come across and we select this option number filters because we are working with numbers and when you click on number filters you get a lot of options here now for this particular question we need to select this option here that says greater than or equal to as per the question greater than or equal to 30 so all i need to do is click on this option and then remember or just uh, remember that this is what the option we have selected is which is greater than or equal to so all I have to do is in this box just type in 30 once I have done that all I need to do is click OK and Excel should do the rest for us let's have a look there we are it has found eight records out of possible 23 now just to quickly check these values here are they all um, greater than or equal to 30 well let's have a quick look they're definitely more than 30 so there wasn't actually a single 30 sales hence there is no 30 value being displayed in our results okay so that's the answer to the first question now once you've done the first question you could in the real world maybe you wanted to then just have a look at certain items you could go ahead and apply another filter on top of this one so i'm just going to let's say i only want to see the base the three different possible base so i, I can apply another filter just for column a now I'm just going to deselect all of them and just tick the three that I want. Again, just a simple basic example I'm using. If I click OK. Now this time, look, it filters out everything else, keeps this filter on, as you can see from the little icon there. And it has applied a second filter. And now we have only three possible records. And here is the number that it is being displayed for you. Three is a simple uh, value which you can count here but remember in the real world when you're working on a bigger project these numbers will be huge. Once you have done those filters 
I'm going to now remove them so all we need to do is click on the filter icon and clear the filter from this, uh, from this item you can see the original 8 comes back which we have applied using the January sales now I'm also going to remove this filter by clicking on there again and clear filter from January sales and this should bring back everything or all the original records there we are now I'm going to head over and tackle the next question which is asking us to filter the data to show information for all unit price that is less than 65 okay so kitchen sales unit price we want all the prices to be filtered out that is less than 65 pounds so again we click on the arrow or the filter arrow we go to number number filters and this time we go across and we select less than once you've done that make sure less than is there just in case it has changed or you've clicked on the arrow and select another one by mistake and all i have to do is type in 50 there less than 50 click ok and there we are look at all these prices they are now less than 50 if i take you back to the question the question was actually less than 65 so that was just an example i'm showing you so if we have to change a value or if you make a mistake like i just for example quickly did and you need to change this value you can do so that's not the end of the world all you have to do is go back to your filter for the correct one go back to number filters go back to less than and simply correct this from 50 to 65 click ok and it will update itself look at that so now all these prices or these unit prices you have in this list is less than 65 pounds can you see every single one of them and again it's telling you here it has found nine number of records Okay, so this is how we do uh, filtering or filtering data in Excel. And once you have completed your filter, you can do all the normal stuff. You can edit, you can format, you can copy, you can even create a graph by highlighting this relevant information and produce your graph. Um, now, once you finish filtering, you may want to remove it and it is exactly the same way you have applied the filter option to be on you do exactly the same to remove the filters you go to the home tab on the ribbon you go to the editing group select sort and filter and you simply click on filter and this will remove all the filters and bring back every single rows of data that was originally available to you and finally, I just want to tell you a little keyboard shortcut that you can use to apply filters and remove filters. So if you make sure, again, you click anywhere within the range, otherwise it will not work. And then if you hold down Control, Shift and press L, L for Lima on the keyboard, it will apply the filters on for you. And if you wanted to remove the filters, you can do the same. Control Shift and press L on the keyboard and it will remove the filters for you. So that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please do feel free to leave a comment and like and share this video and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so and i shall see you over in the next lesson until then please do look after yourself and goodbye for now